Caspio Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Caspio, the powerful platform that allows you to create web applications without coding. Casio empowers you to build custom web applications to meet your specific business needs. With its intuitive interface and no-code approach, you don't have to be a developer to create professional and functional applications. In this comprehensive tutorial, we'll cover everything you need to know about Caspio. We'll start by guiding you through the process of creating an account and exploring the different features and functionalities that Caspio offers. From there, we'll dive into creating a new application and demonstrate how to create data tables in Caspio. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Caspio, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Try Caspio Free button on the home page. This will redirect you to the registration page. On the registration page, you will be prompted to enter your personal information. Fill in your first name, last name, and business email, and create a strong password. Additionally, provide your phone number and choose the data center location country that is most suitable for you. Before proceeding, make sure to read and accept the terms and conditions by ticking the corresponding box. Finally, click on the Sign Up Now button to complete the registration process. Once you have signed up, Caspio will send you an email to verify your account. Open your Gmail inbox or the email associated with the provided business email and locate the email sent by Caspio. Open the email and click on the Activate Account button to verify your email address. This will redirect you to the login page where you can proceed to log in. To log into your new account, click on the Login button on the home page. Enter your email address and password in the designated fields and then click on the Login button. This will grant you access to your new account dashboard where you can start utilizing the features and functionalities offered by Caspio. Once you access your account dashboard on Caspio, you will be greeted with an interface that is user-friendly and intuitive. The dashboard serves as a central hub for all the tools and features that Caspio has to offer. The dashboard features a left menu that houses important tabs for easy navigation. The Applications tab allows you to view all of your assets. Here you can see a list of applications that you have built using Caspio. If you want to create a new application, simply click on the Create App button and follow the prompts. This tab also provides helpful resources such as Caspio video introductions, getting started guides, online training, tutorials, project consultants, and more, which can assist you in maximizing the potential of your applications. Moving on to the Data tab, this section allows you to manage your data. Within this tab, you will find Tables and Views. In the Tables section, you can view all the tables that you have already created. If you wish to create a new table, just click on the Create Table button and follow the steps provided. The Views section displays the existing views you have created and enables you to create new ones by clicking on the Create View button. The Directories tab offers functionality for managing users, security policies, and third-party app connections. By clicking on the Create Directory button, you can create directories to organize and manage your data effectively. In the Document Templates tab, you have the ability to manage your document templates. These templates can be used to merge with data and utilized within data pages. To create a new document template, simply click on the Create Document Template button located at the top right corner of this tab. The Logs tab allows you to view logs, providing information such as log names, records, and retention. This feature helps you keep track of activities and monitor the performance and usage of your applications. In addition to the left menu, there are other options available on the top right side of the dashboard. These options include a search function, access to your account settings, useful tools, a help section for any assistance you may need, notification alerts, and an account section where you can manage your account details. With the comprehensive dashboard layout and easy accessibility to various tabs and features, Caspio ensures that users have a seamless experience in managing their applications and data efficiently. Now, let's see how to create a new application in Caspio. Creating a new application in Caspio is a straightforward process that can be completed in just a few simple steps. To begin, navigate to the left menu and click on the Applications tab. This will take you to the Application tab, where you can see all the existing applications you have created. To create a new application, click on the Create App button. 
a pop-up window will appear with two options. Start by importing data and start with a blank app. For this tutorial, we will select the Start with a blank app option. Next, enter the name of the application and click on the Finish button. This will create a blank application which will be displayed in the Application tab. Within this tab, you have various options for the newly created application such as opening, duplicating, deleting, and more. To add data to the application you have just created, simply click on the Open option within that specific application. This will open the blank application for you. On the left side of the application interface, there are different options available to help you input data into your application. You can create data pages, tables, views, authentications, integrations, styles, and more. If you want an overview of these options, you can click on the Overview tab. Within the Overview tab, you will be able to see the tables, data pages, views, users, records, and files that you have created with that particular application. Additionally, you can modify app details such as the app logo, name, version, app ID, app parameters, and notes. Once you have added the relevant data and made any necessary modifications to the app details, they will be automatically saved. To return to the dashboard, simply click on the Caspio logo located at the top left of the interface. With a user-friendly interface and intuitive steps, Caspio makes it easy for users to create new applications and populate them with data efficiently. Next, let's see how to create tables in Caspio. To create tables in Caspio, start by navigating to the left menu and clicking on the Data tab. This will take you to the data page, where you can see the existing data tables and create new ones. To create a new data table, click on the Create Table button. This will open a blank table where you can input your data. The table creation interface provides fields such as name, data type, unique, and label for you to populate with relevant information. As you fill out one field, another blank field will automatically generate for you to enter additional data. Continue filling out all the necessary fields with the relevant information. Once you have filled out all the fields and entered the relevant data, you can save the table by clicking on the Save option. This will ensure that your table is saved and ready for use. Additionally, you have the option to customize the table further. You can create new fields, move them up or down to arrange their order, revert changes if needed, and even delete the table entirely. These customization options can be accessed at the top of the table. Remember to always save the table before returning to the dashboard to ensure that your changes are preserved. With the ability to create and customize tables in Caspio, you can effectively organize and manage your data in a way that meets your specific needs and requirements. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Caspio. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.